Today we're going to make paracord bracelets and show you how to use them. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Have you ever been out camping and found yourself in need of about 10 feet of paracord? Maybe you've had a tent that has come down or a tarp that has torn out a grommet. Maybe you've lost a shoelace on one of your shoes. We're gonna show you how to make a paracord bracelet and then some uses for it. Here's some of the things that you need for your paracord bracelet. Of course, paracord, which you can buy at any box store. Here's these great clips that we found on Amazon. This one happens to have a compass. It's got a little whistle. And inside, there's a tiny little blade, which could come in handy. A pair of scissors, or you could use your knife to trim the ends when you're done. And then finally, the lighter. Start with your paracord, eight to 10 feet. Both ends together. We're gonna find the center. And then we'll run it through the clip. We're gonna start going up through the bottom of the clip. Make a loop and pull the rest of the cord through. Very easy. Now we're going to go to the other end. Now on this end, we're going to go down through the clip. And put one strand on each side of that double strand going through. This is the time that we're going to measure our wrist and see how tight that we want it to be on our wrist. So you want to give a little bit of area in between so it's not too tight. And remember that one strand comes out one way, one strand comes out the other way. Now we're ready to make our weave. So we'll undo the clip and then pinch this area and begin the weave. So we're gonna pinch that to keep the proper length for our wrist. With the left one, we're going to go over the top and then with the right one, we're going to go under and up through. So this is where it's going to come. So I'm gonna double it underneath, up through, pull it through, and then just tighten up the first weave. Now we'll simply go to the right side, cross over, The left side is going to come underneath and up through this hole that we've just made. And we'll tighten it up. After you do two or three of these weaves, you'll start to see a pattern emerge. Now we're back to the left side. You can see that this loop that comes over, that's your clue that this is the next one. So if you get confused about, oh, am I on the left or the right side? Always look for this loop that's coming over and that's the next one to move. Right goes underneath, up through the hole you've just created. Pull that together. Now we're going back to the right side. We love these clips that we found on Amazon. We'll add a link in the description. So if those are appealing to you, you can go find them. Now that we've finished our weave, we've got the last knot tight. 
I'm gonna take our scissors. You'll probably be doing this at home rather than out in the woods. We're going to trim those ends off tightly. And then we'll cut the other side. Burn the ends. And we're done. Now we have an emergency tool that's easy to take with us. Let me show you a few uses. Sometimes you might find that one of the lines on your tent has broken. A paracord line is just the ticket to fix it. Slide this through. Let's do a quick bowline. Which, by the way, we taught in a separate video. Okay, we'll take this, put it down around our stake, tie a taut line hitch, one in, two in, one out, tighten that up, and that's a knot that will slide and hold. Have you ever had a strong wind come up and tear the grommet out of the corner of the tarp and wonder what to do? A paracord and a rock could help. So we'll make a loop and just tie an overhand knot in the loop. Pull it through. There we go. First we'll put the rock under the tarp and then tie the paracord around it. There's your loop. Run the paracord through your loop. Cinch down on the rock and there you have it. Have you ever broke a shoelace on a long hike? Paracord to the rescue. A few years ago, I was on a backpack with a bunch of youth. On the way out, some were so exhausted, they had a hard time carrying their gear. Thank goodness for the paracord. I ended up carrying two sleeping bags and an additional tent attached to my pack with my emergency paracord. Whether you need to repair a tent, put up a clothesline, or lash two poles together, which we taught in another video, a paracord bracelet is a very handy thing to have. We hope that this has been informative and important for you. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.